All right, here we are assembling the two post tree, num uh, figure number 53 from the complexities of pop-up. I'm starting with the, the centerpiece, which we call the tube post. So we'll glue this together here. Can get that nice and glued. Pressure, pressure, remember the 30, 30 seconds or so with some good pressure on it, that, that, that should do it. All right, as you see, as we open this up, a couple of glue points here, that's the platform. There we go. Glue, um, a fold, fold here and a fold here on the bottom, fold here on the bottom. This is the basic structure. This piece slots into the page. All right. And now we have this accordion folded piece You'll see that I've cleaned out the, the die cuts here. They had little pieces of paper in there. So fold it so that the, um, the die cut is at the top, the, the top of the mountain, the, the mountain fold, and the valley fold, mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold. Okay, so you have an accordion piece like this. These should be all about equal. The die cutting's a little bit off, so you can just go ahead and give it a little squeeze and kind of force them to be somewhat equal. Okay, there we go. Now you'll see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. The center piece has a D on it and it does not have a, a score down here on the tab. The two on the left are longer and they have a score on the tab. The last piece on the left um, does not have a tab. So it's the shorter piece and the same on the right hand side. One, two with, with scores, they're a little bit longer and the, 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 the piece on the far right um, does not have a tab. So let's put these pieces in now. They have little wing tabs, fold the wing tabs in. And the very center hole um, is right here at E, the, the, the E arrow, so put that piece in, fold it, then do the same with all the other pieces. So these are the pieces going on the left-hand side. It actually goes like this. Left-hand side. There's the left side. This is the short piece. The short piece is on the very end. Now we'll do the right side. And remember the wing tabs are good because they Lock something in place, but it gives a lot of free movement in that slot, rather than some sort of a glue tab. There we go. All right, so there's the, these are the branches of the tree, basically, with the accordion fold. So fold the accordion fold back in position like this. All right, this is the closed position that, you, that the papa will be closed in. All right, what I'm going to do now is take all of the glue tabs and put a little bit of glue on them. One. Two. Three. And four spots here. There you go, and squeeze those together. You can see how the, you can see how this looks. All the branches of the tree, the accordion structure that holds it all together, and then the two loose pieces on the end are the short pieces. All right. Now, once that's glued together, what I'm going to do is go ahead and slide those glued tabs right into the tube post here.
until they're they're right at the score. So you, um, you can see the score on the uh, the tab right there. It's right about here. It's about the same space as the end of the short ones. Right there. So now I'll put a little bit of glue right there. A little bit of glue here. Slide that in place. Okay, that's how it, that's how that glues. Now the the two end pieces, the two short end pieces, then we'll glue down to the platform here, and these glue these two glue spaces. So I'll put a little bit of glue on. What side is that? That's the that's the left hand side. This is the right-hand side. A little bit of glue on the right-hand side. Okay. Close those up. And the best way to glue those is to just go ahead and close that because that's the, that's the final position that this pop-up will be laying flat in right there. Okay, get those nice and glued. And this little flap piece stays loose. All right. Okay, this piece is relatively simple to assemble, believe it or not. Okay, this is the front. All right, next step. This is the, this is the base page. There's a slot right here in the base page. Go ahead and put your, the center of the two posts right into that slot. Put the, the fold of the two posts right against them, right at the gutter. That's your, that's your position. A little bit of glue. You can see that it's a little crooked there, isn't it? Yeah, so from this side, I make sure that it's right, right there. All right. And as usual, I finish the assembly by laying everything flat. it over and glue the final final leg piece right here okay glue down hold those for 30 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And th there's something interesting about this particular pop-up. There's a lot of paper all in one spot here. We call that bulk. That's the thickness of the paper within the spread. So you can really fill it here. So have, we, we put a sign here, a little, a little note, fill the bulk. You can really fill the bulk right there. And over here on this corner, there is no paper, so there's no bulk. And when designing a pop-up book, we, we really have to think about the bulk because that's what makes pop-up books really big and thick and cumbersome, I think. Whereas um, if, you, if you think about how the bulk is placed on the page, you can, you can avoid that super heavy thickness. Okay. There we go. And there she is. All right. Another thing, another thing to notice on this, a lot of times with the, with the, with the platforms, the two, two post platforms, we, we make these, all the legs equal. When the legs are equal, this um, it has a tendency to rock back and forth. There's no control. But I've shortened these two legs and that um, stabilizes the structure a bit. So just something, something to think about there. There we go. Two post tree, number figure number 53.